Hey guys, standing forward fold. So how we do it? What is the modification? What is the uh, small actions in the pose which you need to be aware of how your legs and your torso, your arms, your shoulders supposed to work. So we're going to talk about this a little bit more. So to start the pose, come to your mat and again we have the classical version and the modified version so classical would be to bring your big toes touching knees are uh, your ankles your heels slightly apart but for me personally I'm not telling you to do it but for me personally it's a little bit closing my uh, pelvis so I do prefer to have my hip uh, my feet hip distance apart it's up to you it's up to you guys. So you can try both and see which one works best for you. So you press down evenly with four corners of your feet, magnetizing your shins. So your shins hugging in towards the midline. Then your thighs, the tops of your thighs, press them back and inner thighs, roll them back and apart. So you're kind of widening your pelvis. When you do that, you can already initiate this forward tilt. This is important for the forward fold. Forward tilt, forward fold. And you lower your torso. Then one common mistake, and I see it oftener than anything else, people are sending their hips back. It's easier because you know your hamstrings are not engaged to the same level. Trying to bring your hips over your ankles. When you do that, you feel that your toes start working a lot. So you charge your toes more. This is one of the uh, points for you to see if you're working it in the right way. And if you hear some people, they place their hands on the shins and this is fine, but I do prefer to do it with a block. So you have an extra support and it's easier for you to have your hips over your heels. Remember the actions in the legs, this is very important. So our legs are super active. And plus uh, with what I already said, your kneecaps. So no locking of your knees, so you're not pushing your knees back. You're kind of pulling them up, engaging your quadriceps. Quadriceps are active. The tops of your femur bones, the tops of your thigh bones, pull them back. And then tailbone, scoop it up towards them. Pull it up towards the pubic bone and maybe here. And again, your torso, uh, we already spoken about it in different videos, it's lengthening. Your side body is long, your neck is the extension of your spine, and maybe you're here. Maybe this is your Pachamatanasana. Maybe you can lower. Maybe you can lower. So, but I want you to show the modification. For me, really, like I really like it. When you place your block in between your thighs, you hug onto that block, really like crazy. And when you do that, it's really easier to release your torso. And with the block there, you won't be able to relax your legs, believe me. Knees active and you're folding. And maybe you're here and this is perfectly fine. Good. Another way to check and see how it works for you to come to the wall. So it will be quite difficult. So we're starting slightly away from the wall. Again, engaging legs, shins in, thigh, inner thighs back and wide. You come down and then you walk. So your ankles, your heels are against the wall and your butt, your pelvis against the wall. So now you can be sure that your hips over your pelvis, right? And maybe you need a block here. And you can feel it. You can feel how your legs are working. Just one story. Some people do that. Some people, they just do the opposite. They kind of trying to bring their chin towards the chest, thinking that it probably, you know, let them fold a little bit deeper. No. So your chin is neutral. So your neck is neutral. 
and you're folding down like this and the last version of it so if you want to go a little bit deeper and um, see how your torso is supposed to be dangling down so you come to the wall but from the opposite side you release your torso down and then start walking walking and you just the closer you're to the wall the deeper your fall will be and you're just standing next to the wall with your back good well done thank you for watching hope it helped and i really hope that these instructions these explanations will help you to understand this pose more and deepen your pose and deepen your practice thank you for watching namaste